What's up guys and welcome to another video. Uh, I'm making this impromptu video because I wanted to buy a push block for my table saw and I was doing some research on Google and they cost like 80 or 90 bucks and I realized I have plenty of leftover wood or scrap wood from my previous project so I thought like why not just make one um, and I can show you guys how to do that too. So let's get into All it. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to make the handle. So I'm going to use this old piece of scrap plywood and I've cut out a stencil here. So this is all thanks to Steve Ramsey yet again. Um, I, I YouTubed how to make one of these and of course the first video that popped up was one of his. So thanks for that, Steve. All right, so I'm gonna trace the outline of this handle. So I guess this is basically what the handle is gonna be. I'm gonna use my jigsaw to cut that out. So let's get to it. Just above rock. Alright. Line again. So we've got our block and we've got the handle to go on top. So the way I'm going to attach the handle to the block is I'm going to use, I'm going to cut a strip off of this other piece of scrap plywood and stick it on top here. And I want to cut out a groove through here where this is going to fit into. And if you might notice, that's why I've taken off the, I think it's called the writhing knife at the back and all the safety features so I can cut the grooves in here. Otherwise I would always have that writhing knife on. So let's see how that's gonna go. I always lift the blade about halfway up. Up there. And that's how deep we're gonna cut those grooves. So use about here. and then I'll use my hand here and push stick to push it through. So as you feel you're getting close, Up. 
there. It's gonna be the basis of our stop block. All right, so before we attach this whole thing together, I think what I'm gonna need to do is give this handle a little bit of a sanding. All right, I think that looks a little better. So this is gonna go on top there and this through here. So I'll place that and what I'm gonna do is screw this piece into the top here. So this will go there and then I'm gonna wanna drill a hole here. There. safely push the wood through. So 